The lockdown mesh frame determines which frame you paint on. So for example, any of these frames you can choose as a starting point, and the plugin will choose one automatically for you if you don't. But just so you know, this green bar represents which frame that lockdown mesh frame is on. So for example, if I go here to this frame, I can press set lockdown mesh UV frame and click that. Notice how the green bar moves. Now this is the hero frame right here. When I move into the stabilized UV layout tab, watch this shape, watch these four corners. Notice how they don't move. And as I scrub through here, you can see this video is stabilized based around this mesh. If I go back to the beginning of the video, this button doesn't work when I'm in any of these tabs. I can return to the tracking tab, press set lockdown mesh UV frame, and then stabilized, you can see that shape is preserved. It's very small here because it's small on this frame. So I chose the worst frame possible for this example because I just want to point something out. If I press lockdown now, I can go into my stabilized comp, I can delete the checkerboard, and you can see this layer represents the frame at which we stabilized on, and this here is the actual stabilized video. So I can put my graphics here, and now I can move back to the main comp, and I'll play this. So one of the things you might notice is this isn't very sharp. That's because it's taking a small image here, and then it's blowing it up. So choosing your lockdown mesh frame is important. When you're in lockdown and you choose the frame, it probably makes sense to choose the frame in which your mesh is the biggest. So I'll press this here, set lockdown mesh UV frame. And now when I come back, you'll see that this is all moved on me. If I move into the stabilized comp, you'll notice that none of this has been updated. In order to get it to update, I have to press lockdown again on the main lockdown layer. Now I can enter the stabilized comp and you can see what this looks like. I can scale this up and put it in place. And when I move back, you can see that this is perfectly sharp. So in summary, inside of the pop-out, you can choose which frame is your lockdown mesh UV frame, which is represented by a green bar. And that's the shape you'll see in the stabilize tab and in the UV tab. But what if there's never a frame that really properly represents what you're trying to do? So for example, if you take a look over here, there's never a frame where it would be good to create the lockdown hero frame. It's never quite facing a direction where you would want to work. So moving into the stabilized UV layout, let's just take a look at this. As a side note, because this is a planar track, I'm using single plane perspective warping. There is a different tutorial on that, please go check that out. The difference is it's going to make a plane render correctly at strange angles, as opposed to triangulating, and it will do this, and that can be a problem. So this is good for planes, check out more about that feature later. So if you can't find a frame that really properly represents whatever you're trying to add graphics to, this is what the UV tab is for, where you can grab any point on the mesh and you can just kind of move it around. So see how I can square up this wall here? All right, just like that. There. And again, I'll press lockdown, moving into my stabilized comp. At this point, the bottom layer is entirely worthless because this is only doing a freeze frame. You'd probably want to delete that. And you'll see that this has been stabilized uh, just to match the view in the pop out and you can place your graphics here. Something like that feels about right. And that's going to work out much better. Here's another shot where you may want to do custom UVs. So you can see, for example, the book is laid out like this, and there's never really a good frame. I could set my lockdown UV mesh frame wherever, but this isn't how I'd like to work. So I'd probably want to straighten this out. I'm going to just grab these points. And now you can see my UV layout for this book is straight and flat where both covers are about the same size. 
and laid out evenly. I'll press lockdown, and I actually already had graphics in there. So I'll hide those graphics, and you can see that this is laid out like this. And now it's pretty easy to just put something on top of this, flat and straight. And I've actually already done the keying here, but you get the idea. This is a situation where manually setting your UVs is going to make the shot easier to work with. And you can see how it all looks here. So let's look at the last few notes regarding the lockdown UV frame and the UVs. How do we undo this if we need to undo this? Well, these have been set custom and it's just showing this filled circle right here. But if we want to move it back to its original position, which is wherever it was on this frame, on the lockdown mesh frame, we can select it and press clear UV and it will go back there. Uh, now it's blue instead of white. And if we want to reset all of it, clear all UV. I should probably rename these buttons, but they get the job done.